Yes. It's an incredible white being. Mm-hmm. Does it have a shape? This is a 12th level vibrational being. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It's me. Mm -hmm. My future. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to listen to me. I'd like for you to take a deep breath. And as you exhale, I want you to drop deeper. That's it. Do this once again. Drop deeper. And at this place now, you can connect with this information. Why have you appeared before her today? What is it that she needs to know? I'm bringing her gifts. Mm -hmm. What kind of gifts? Telepathy. Mm -hmm. And light language. Yes. What will she be using this telepathy and light language for in the future? She's a master healer. Mm -hmm. Yes. She has the ability to see the highest version of the individual. Mm -hmm. And reflect that energy back to them. Mm -hmm. How has she been doing that now? Her presence. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when people are in her presence, they feel that? They feel the reflection? She raises the vibration of the energy around her uh -huh. more and more. This gift is unfolding. Yes. Why did it unfold now and not before? She needed to clear a lot of trauma from her body. Uh -huh. And she needed to purify her body. Uh -huh. Has she been substances that she was consuming? Mm -hmm. <sighs> She's cleared them out of her system. She doesn't need them anymore. She doesn't have that pain. Mm -hmm. That pain body has been cleared. Good. And now that that pain body has been cleared, what's next for her? There's changes in her cellular makeup, her cellular structure, mm -hmm. and I've begun an embodiment process with her. Tell me what that is. How does that work? In the crystalline body. Mm -hmm. More carbon-based mm -hmm. in nature. Yes. The craving, the desire, the need for substances from drink to food, everything becomes less, mm -hmm. less need for anything and more about being. Mm -hmm. Is that why she's been going to more of these retreats? To connect more with that part of her mm. being? She's bringing the energy to those retreats. Oh, okay. So, she's the facilitator, mm. the silent facilitator. Okay. So, her presence is part of the healing for the others. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, how can she take this to the next step?
it's the constant presence, being present, being in gratitude, mm -hmm. witnessing with her eyes, witnessing with her presence, the beauty that is unfolding around her, mm -hmm. being in that beauty, being part of that presence. No need for escapism in anything anymore and being just getting accustomed to not needing anything. No distractions, nothing that needs to be filled, not needing food, not needing drink, not needing people, distractions, nothing, just presence. Mm -hmm. Everything is present, which is a very foreign concept for so many. Yes. When you don't need anything, what are you? What do you do with yourself? Mm-hmm. Nothing, you just be. Yes. Getting used to that sensation, that presence. And from there, once she becomes accustomed to it, for everyone, then that's where the expansion begins to happen. The embodiment of not just your higher self, but even higher versions of yourself. Mm -hmm. Bigger, grander, a bigger light can embody you in this life. So when we began to talk, you said you were the 12th level of this vibrational being. What level is she at? She's hovering in a 6th level. Mm -hmm. And as she becomes more peaceful, what this level? This is a very difficult life mm -hmm. to be in. Yes. All of the all of the things are stacked against you, mm -hmm. keeping you, trying to keep you from embodying your light. Yes. And so we come to assist each of you. Mm-hmm. So if you are the twelfth level of her being, is that correct? Of who she is? Yes. Who else do you help? I'm only here to help her. Okay, very good. So last night she was here in nature and she was having some strange dreams. Where does she go when she dreams? Sometimes she goes to ancient forests mm -hmm. to recalibrate her energy. Yes. Right now it's more difficult for her because she's being surrounded by so much more energy and people. Mm -hmm. She tends to want to stay alone as much as she can to maintain her energy. Yes. Especially because there's so much erratic energy happening around her. So she goes and she was recalibrating her energy last night. Mm -hmm. Other times she goes to work. Mm -hmm. She works on the grid, the crystalline grid of the planet. Tell me what that work is all about. The crystalline grid of the planet is formed in the Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm to maintain the planet and its inhabitants on as high vibrational frequency as possible as you transverse this birthing process that you are experiencing now there is a lot of 
energy that is trying to keep you, all of you, from reaching your goals, mm -hmm. your ascension into your new crystalline bodies. And yes. so when you are sleeping, when all of you sleep, most of you, not all of you, and all of you that are connected and doing this work together, sleep, you will, and work on the crystalline grid to facilitate your waking lives. Mm. As you wake up more and more to your true energy and your true nature and your gifts, all of your gifts that are coming online now so that you can help each other mm -hmm. and all of humanity reach the new vibrational frequency. And so by working on this crystalline grid, is it balancing the other forces that are not allowing it to it's like the force field. The force field, okay. And this crystalline grid, is it within the earth or outside the earth? Where is it exactly? It is outside the earth. Mm hmm yes. Above the firmament. Okay. And are we able to connect with that crystalline grid during our working, our waking hours? Or just during sleep? You're tethered to it. We're tethered to it. Very good. It's an invisible kind of a leash, no? Mm -hmm. Like a, it's uh, you're connected to it like a radio station. You know, okay. you're tuning into that frequency when you meditate, when you center yourself within your heart center, within your soul center. Yes. in your sacred divine center mm -hmm. that is where the frequency is broadcasting connecting so are we all connected to each other via that grid if we if each one of us is you're all connected to each other mm -hmm. and you're all connected to the grid very good so what is the need to work on the grid has something happened to this crystalline grid because you carry the light of the Creator within you, you are strengthening the crystalline grid mm -hmm. because there is constant bombardment from the dark energies trying to keep humanity from ascending and bringing the earth with her. I see. You're all connected. Very good. Gaia, the humans on Gaia, the souls working on Gaia. It's all one big ecosystem working together, mm -hmm. moving through time and space as one, ascending, maturing, learning, evolving, bringing back the information to Source. So Source experiences all that the humans and the souls and Gaia and all of its creations experience unfolding onto itself through all time and space. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now that we understand about the crystalline grid and her work during her dreams, right now she has started a new job which seems to be a lot more hectic than before. When all of this is happening where she's trying to get back to nature and sent to herself, she puts herself right back into the action. What's the reason for that? She's so funny. She repeats this pattern often. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, ebb and flow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she needs to prove her 
self to herself. She mm -hmm. needs to prove, not to anyone else, but just to herself. And this was just one thing that she wanted to prove that she could get and do. But she always brings her light to wherever she goes. So, so it's needed. To her, it's a game. Mm -hmm. And to the people around her, this is very serious life and death kind of interactions. <laughs> so in a sense, she lightens the load. She brings them more into reality that, again, this is a game. Mm -hmm. Life is a game. Yes. It should be enjoyed and laughed at and not taken so seriously and just enjoying the moment, enjoying the games, the all of the, the tools that the Creator has given you and that you have manifested yourself to play with mm -hmm. and not take things so seriously and enjoy. And now she doesn't take things so seriously. So she's a good influence for the people around her as they get to know her. And she brings a light energy and that's part of her path. So wherever she lands, she's bringing that energy around her mm -hmm. to the people around her, but it won't last very long. She's just there for a little while, and she knows it. Yes. Well, we had talked about her working with her as a Reiki master, the Akashic Records, the NLP coaching, and the retreat centers being organizing them. How will all of that fit together in the future for her? It'll just come a time when it'll be that's all that she can do mm -hmm. and she'll be so needed yes and it's like a wave will come into her life an overwhelming wave of healing you know she's not completely healed herself mm -hmm. but once that is complete very soon this is very healing for her this lifetime that she's just healed was truly one of the last things that she needed to heal. She's truly cleaned up so much karma that now she will take a, a quantum leap in her abilities and her gifts and her healing and in her perception of everything that's happening around her. She's truly leveled up. It, it wouldn't have been possible for me to begin the embodiment process with her if that wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. Many people want to ascend into a different level, but there's so much holding them back. I want you to look at this lifetime of charity. What else, is there anything else that she needs to heal today in order for her to finally start getting the work done? The healing that's left to do is on a cellular level. Mm -hmm. So as if you were using a microscope, I'd like for you to go ahead and scan this body. What is there that needs to be healed? It's a restructuring of the DNA. Mm -hmm. I'm already working on that for her. Very it's not good. something that can happen instantly or overnight. All right. But it's a gradual change and it's happening on an atomic level that's a transition very good so being that it is DNA I have vibrations here I have tuning forks for DNA reparation and if you would permit me I'd like to go ahead and begin to use these tuning forks so that you could begin the acceleration process 
is that something that we could do today? Yes. Very good. So there will be two different frequencies that I'll be using. And I want you to go ahead and begin to see what happens with this vibration. of photonic light entering the cells, restructuring the DNA. the reason why charity has been brought all the way here to this place to be with me today she just thinks you're wonderful <laughs> mm. she loves this land she feels very connected to it And I know that she has been communicating with the trees around her. She has been embraced by an ancient grandmother tree while she sleeps. Are there any of the guardians of the land or any of the trees that have any message for her today? Trees are such an important part of this earth. They're the receivers of the energy of source to the Gaia. Yes. And so she has an incredible connection to trees just like you. She cannot live without the trees. Mm -hmm. And her appreciation for them is immense and they, they know how much she loves them. And so it's just a mutual appreciation and love that they share. And she's so drawn to this land because of the beautiful trees, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes. And I know that she's been all around the country and she's been to different places. Where would be a good spot for her to be in the future to do this work? Where she can commune with trees. She feels very connected to the land around here. Mm -hmm. But now's not the time for her to go anywhere. She's okay. exactly where she needs to be. Mm -hmm. And as her frequency and vibration rises less and less noise will bother her mm -hmm. because she's going to be in her own reality you can be in the same place but be in a different place yes. at the same time mm -hmm. and so that's what's going to be the case for her and she already lives in a place that has a lot of trees yes She'll move from where she is, but she'll move, she'll stay in that neighborhood. Okay, very good. So she's looking now for a place in the future. She has a gift coming to her. All right. She has a gift coming to her. She's going to be very happy. Mm -hmm. Is there a time frame? It's all very soon. All right. It's all very soon. Very good. Now, the last time we had a session together, 
she was on a ship. Is there anything that you would like to tell her about that? She's a star traveler. Mm -hmm. She's living a, a simultaneous life. Mm -hmm. Working within the stars. Mm -hmm. But in this life right now, okay. her focus is here in this earth. Okay. With her feet on the ground, grounded, staying grounded to the earth, mm -hmm. staying focused in the present moment, anchoring this energy for herself and for those around her. All of you together are anchors of source light for humanity and for the earth, for Gaia, the more you raise your frequency, the more you raise your vibration, the more light you can anchor from source, the greatest gift you bring to each other and to Gaia and to source. Wonderful. Clearing out your vessels of pain and trauma and dis misbeliefs. Mm -hmm so that you can become as pure a channel as possible through expansion. The more you expand, the more light you can hold, the more light you can ground, the more source you bring to earth, the lighter you become, the lighter Gaia becomes, the quicker you reach the next levels of ascension. Very good. And many ask about this ascension. Are we talking about ascension within this current lifetime? For oh. some of you, yes. Okay. So each person ascends at a different time period? You're all moving together at the same time. It's just that some of you won't live through it. Okay. Everybody's at a different, uh, everybody's in a different, at a different place in their timeline. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're all moving together. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a quantum concept that's hard to elaborate on within the language and understanding of the human mind yeah. still at this level. But once understood, it's a quantum understanding. You will move all together into your ascension. Okay. Nothing can stop you. There's nothing to fear. Mm -hmm. There's only chatter around you to make you believe that anything can stop you. But nothing can stop you. Now, many people have different belief systems. When Cher and I and I first started talking, we were talking about that we are all spirit wearing this costume, this meat body. When we talk about ascension, are we talking about ascension with this meat body or a spirit? Because many people are afraid of the death of the body. You're ascending within your bodies. Mm -hmm. You're not going to move anywhere like okay. you're leaving your body or it's a vibrational shift. Mm -hmm. It's a vibrational shift. Okay, very good. Within this lifetime, this person, Charity, has already ascended mm -hmm. two levels. Yes, you said she's on a sixth level and will continue mm -hmm. to ascend yes as many of you do and will continue to do so within one incarnation of this body that you are inhabiting in now very good and you um being on the 12th level are you able to see others around you besides this one that is charity 
are you able to see where other people are in their ascension? Because I know there are no secrets in the spirit world. You just see it as light. You see it as light. Does the light have different color depending on the level? How do you identify the levels? Everybody has different colors mm -hmm. of who they are and how they're shining and different times. The light frequencies change, but it's really more like we speak in a language of light and mm -hmm. we see in the, the... I wouldn't be able to really explain it to you, but mm -hmm. it's like maybe the sheen or the twinkle or like the quality of the light itself. Okay. So you have a, almost like a different language than we do here on the 3D Earth to be able to identify things. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Is there anything else that you want to tell Charity? Enjoy. Very good. Is there anything else this session? Do you feel that we are complete? Everything is complete. Five wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Oh, that was so beautiful. What a beautiful experience. Thank you. You're welcome. Did it make sense to you? Mm. So do you want to share some of this with people, the part with the being? Yeah. Not the other part, but... Yeah, that's really personal, but... I thought that was pretty interesting about the, the grid and the grid work. and What's interesting to me is saying that in this life, you can be one level and mm -hmm. still keep your body, yep. but continue to ascend in the same lifetime mm -hmm. through different levels of ascension in the same body, in the same life. And it's interesting when he said I was in the sixth level. Yep. And, and, you, and you're continuing. It's not he. It's a being of light. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have a body in that level. Yeah. And I don't have, like, a gender. I'm just light. Yeah. yeah. But still embodied, like a personality. Yeah. It's, it's so it, hard to understand. It still had a personality. Right. It's awesome. So, Charity, that was quite a session. Yeah, feels so very So, tell yummy. everybody where you're from and um, what, what you're doing here. Um, I am from Miami. Um, I came to see Alba in this beautiful land and visit her trees mm -hmm. and um, have an amazing session of healing. So, you have had a session with me back in 2017. What was this one compared to that one? Um, well, that one was really interesting because, you know, I was on a space mission and I didn't really visit any past lives. Mm -hmm. um, it was very much like about the future and yeah. an aspect of myself mm -hmm. talking to me about love, my own development. So fast yeah. forward now five years. Yeah. I've done a lot of work on myself. And yeah. So this time... It was really a 12th dimensional version of me coming to talk to me mm -hmm. and to Alba and just saying, you know, that I've done the work and I'm really starting, I'm there, you know, yeah. and I've yeah. reached a sixth, sixth level, sixth dimensional level, so. And this, the part that you saw is the second part of her session. The first part was very personal. Um, it was very healing. And um, just to give you a hint of what it was, uh, sometimes when we have a, a lifetime, we make promises and vows. Uh, it's almost like if you've ever seen the movie Gone with the Wind. Uh, there's a part where she says, I will never go hungry again. And when you make a vow like that, that is for every lifetime. That just goes out. And so you gotta be real careful what you say because your words are forever. So today we did um, a bit of that. Uh, we can't show it because it has to do with people who are in her life 
and I don't put that stuff out there. But I just wanted to tell you that that's the kind of healing work that we do in these sessions. It's not all about talking with your higher self and asking questions. That's not really what I do in my sessions. It's more about healing the soul. And that's exactly what we did today. And so if you can hear around us, we have a lot of sounds of nature. And uh, Charity stayed here last night. So tell everybody what your experience was like. So I stayed in this cozy little cabin. It actually has, she thought of everything, really. <laughs> and um, this morning I heard these beautiful sounds. What was that? What is that? The cranes? The cranes. They were three of them flying in. Yeah. yeah. And they make like this, I don't know, this beautiful sound. Yeah. Like a, almost like a moaning <laughs> kind of. It's really beautiful. And then just walking out here, the mist on the lake, the mm -hmm. trees. I walked to the little town. It's like Bridges of Madison County, like a, a lifetime, a, a Hallmark movie. This is like a Hallmark movie town. That's exactly what it's like. But it doesn't snow here. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're channeling Christmas but, but today. But we are getting ready for Christmas today with these colors. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was, it's really beautiful here. And I like to uh, have my clients stay here because uh, last night we did the Pandora Star uh, light therapy, which really put you to sleep, right? Yeah, it was good because I needed to relax after yeah. driving up here. So yeah, was, that was like a six hour drive from yeah. Miami. It's four and a half hours. Four and a half, man, yeah. you were gunning it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I stop at every rest stop, so it takes longer for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it was good. Yeah. It was good. Well, I, I'm glad you uh, all stayed up to this moment to, to watch this. And I hope that uh, I get to see you either at a gathering here at my place. I do have workshops here. It's a beautiful environment to just be together. And um, also, you know, just a session. So uh, Charity waited a long time to get this session. I think it was the, the right timing, wasn't it? This I time? think so. Yeah. It was like just the right timing, even though I had yeah. been trying. When I finally got it, it was so easy. It was right. like perfect And that's timing. how it is. When you are guided to have this session, it just flows like that. It's like you are meant to be here. So don't get frustrated. You will be here when you need to be here. And uh, oh, before. Tell everybody what you do and where they can contact you. Uh -huh. um, I'm an energy healer, so I do uh, Reiki, Akashic Records, and uh, my website is charitieschakras.com. Fantastic. Now we can say goodbye. Bye. Much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>